Welcome back to Chain Soldier Anime Review, episode number five. We're here reviewing the eighth episode of the series, Promise Now Remember. This episode, in a way, covers chapters 23 to 26, roughly four chapters. Yes, and arcs wise, it finishes up Tenka's Desire, and it also covers. Pretty much the entirety of the seventh unit training arc, which is only like two chapters. Not really all that surprising, given the fact how really short these two arcs are, so no surprise there. So, the whole thing with Tenka is that the end last episode, like, oh, do you want to be my slave? He's like, nope. And then, of course, later on, she breaks into his bedroom with her portal power and proceeds to pounce on him. And use the power to try to remove his clothing to the point where it seems like that he she wants to have sex with him. And luck enough that Su Sui basically comes by, sees this, and of course Tenka gets scolded by the by the commander. And then of course she leaves. And of course she also asks him to be her boyfriend or a pet because she's somewhat obsessed with him. So then she's like, okay, early morning training. So first we have Nay having hers where basically hers, when when he gets on top of basically of Yuki, basically he becomes sort of like a, the what best we described based on his appearance, he kind of reminds me of basically one of the common writers, kind of in a way. Yes, I'm not sure which one, but the design wise is very similar to a common writer. Where that he has good speed and the fact he has good foresight and also actually built where he's able to see all the girls butt naked except for Nay. He does not see Nay. And to back normal, his reward from her is a peck in the cheek, which is perfectly fine for an eleven year old girl. And then Sue Sweet transform then Sue Sweet gets off and like where it's very bulky and she tries to use her ability with him and she has been crushing him with her power. Yep. But and I keep and well those, if you didn't watch her, her first time she did this, basically her powers are based upon Ultraman. That's literally what her power is based on. It's a good thing I watched the original series to understand that reference. So, and then pretty much right after this whole training wraps up, then of course, oh, Nell has to go to school. And of course, Yuki decides to come along with them. And basically, basically her... Or a little plight, the fact she wants to look for her parents who have gone missing, just like how he wants to look for his sister. Good setup here, and of course, next episode, we're, and of course they have stuff with the, well, basically they're, they're identifying the show, but it's basically it's members of the Thunder Gods. The eighth Thunder Gods, basically the, kind of in a way, the main antagonists of the series. We get a little bit of them in this episode. Yeah, that's pretty much it to discuss here. It's a... It's a good episode, and we have only four more to go. Uh huh. Yep, four more to go. Let me uh, update one thing here. Alright, so that's going to be pretty much it for particular view. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications, and do another like button. Next up, we have a comic corner. And that's it for tonight. Yeah, sadly, if I don't have more time on videos tonight because of how late it's getting. So, hopefully tomorrow I can catch up with my anime. Hopefully. Okay, to the next video tomorrow. Bye.